Let's solve this problem on Hacker Rank. Prepare, SQL, Advanced Join, Symmetric Pairs. To be symmetric, x1 must equal y2, and x2 must equal y1. Notice we're given a table called functions. It contains two columns, x and y. Here's our sample data. And when we execute our SQL statement, these should be the results. As you can see, I have created the table functions. Now I put a pound in front. All that means is this is temporary. When I hit this X button and this window goes away, so does this table. Then the data that you saw inside of that problem is right here. I have to manually type these in. Let's solve this problem. So two pairs. Here you can see X1, Y1. And we could use this second line as x2, y2, but that would be very, very complicated. And this program would turn into a monster. But what we can do is make, we can make a copy of this data, put it side by side, and then we'd have x2 and y2. Then we could work this equation out. Now how I'm gonna solve this is I'm gonna use two CTEs. So the first thing we can say is uh, select from pound functions, and I'm going to call that F1. And then my columns I'll use there is the F1.x, F1.y, and then we're going to use the row number function. So row number, and you say over, and we're just going to then say order by F1.x, F1.y. I'm going to alias that as num. So if we just look at the output of this little function here, notice that we get X and Y in a row number for each of them. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to paste these inside of some CTEs. So I'm gonna say with pair left CTE. And then you say as, and then open parentheses, and then close that. Now there's our first CTE. And guess what? Our second CTE is identical because I want these same three columns again. So I'm just going to highlight all this, copy that, and then put a comma here and then paste. And let's don't call this left now, let's call this right. Now is where we get into the meat of our program. So we say select, and what are we going to select here? Well, the first thing is going to say from pair left. CTE, this one on the top, what is available there? Well, we're going to alias that as P1, and then we're going to say P1.x, P1.y. And if we just execute where we're at right now, where are we at? Notice that we just have the data. Nothing's been done yet. The magic hasn't happened. So now we're going to say join pair right CTE, and let's call that P2. Now we're gonna say on, now what is our on condition? Well, that's gonna be P1.x equals P2.y. How did I get this? Well, I'm using this equation right here. So P1x equals P2y, and then P2x equals P1y. That makes sense? So those have been joined up. So now our two tables are all joined up, and let's actually print that out so we can say a P2X and a P2Y. Let's go ahead and execute this. So now you can see, you know, like all the data that we're gonna be using in here. And now just remember, we're gonna be joining outside to outside, inside to inside. And you can see this first line matches the second, but now we got dupes, right? But now look at on line five, 21 to 21, 20 to 20. So five's another good line. And look at line six, 22 to 22, 23 to 23. And then we have dupes, and then we have a 20 to 20, 21. I think you get it. So now let's solve this problem with our where clause. So now we're gonna say where uh, p1.num not equal p2.num. And then we're gonna say and p1.num is less than p2.num in order by p1.x ascending. And there you can see our outsides match, insides match. Outside, inside, outside, inside. Let us clean up the select statement. So I'm just gonna print p1x as x1 and p1y as y1. Let's execute it. And there is my output. Now let's submit this code to HackerRank.
let us paste our code inside of this. Make sure we switch this over to Microsoft SQL Server. Notice I removed the pound characters from our tables. And then let's go ahead and execute this code. Give it a second. And notice, congratulations, we're all done. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them in the comment section below. Until the next video, take care.